Is this really about money? In 2013, according to the media outlet Vera Files, during the ASEAN Regional Forum held in Brunei, China expressed concerns about the prolonged presence of a Philippine warship citing mechanical issues. The then Philippine Foreign Secretary Rosario attributed the ship's extended stay to financial constraints. However, known for his adeptness in diplomacy, he was left speechless by a remark from Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi. Due to the silence of the Philippine side, the issue of the grounded ship at Renai Jiao has remained unresolved to this day. Whether the Philippine side had promised China to remove its grounded military vessel has always been a matter of disputation for the international community. Since the establishment of the People's Republic of China, China's territorial sovereignty over the Nansha Qingdao has remained unchallenged. However, since the early 1970s, the Philippines has unlawfully occupied parts of the Nansha Qingdao. In 1999, a Philippine tank landing ship deliberately stranded on Renai Jiao. What can we do to make our presence felt? The Navy suggested that we ground some of our LSD's landing ship tanks. It was a uh, good suggestion, so we implemented it. China regards this as a grave infringement upon its national sovereignty, steadfastly maintaining that the Philippines pledged to remove the unlawfully granted vessel. Yet to this day, the BRP Sierra Madre remains in place, often stirring up waves in the South China Sea. The current Philippine government denies any such commitment. I'm not aware of any agreement. And let me go further. If there does exist, such an agreement, I rescind that agreement as of now. After the water cannon incident on August 5, 2023, the South China Morning Post interviewed Orlando Mercado. The article stated that the so-called commitment was to some extent a verbal game, perhaps the Philippine side intended to put China in a passive position. During the same period, Rigoberto Tiglao, former spokesperson for the Philippine government, published articles in both the Manila Times and his eponymous blog. He claimed that the Philippines, that is, the Estrada administration, had indeed promised China to remove the BRP Sierra Madre. He attached a secret memorandum from 2013 written by then Foreign Secretary Albert del Rosario to President Aquino, as well as a screenshot of the Philippine Department of Foreign Affairs' response to China's demand for the Philippines to fulfill its commitment in 2014. Both pieces of evidence mentioned China's desire for the Philippines to keep its word. Rigoberto Ticola believes that the Philippine government's lack of a direct response to the commitment is, in fact, evidence of guilt. His argumentative logic is, if the Philippine government had not made such a commitment, why didn't they outright deny it in official documents? On one hand, there is the dilapidated state of the BRP Sierra Madre, while on the other hand, there is the denial of the commitment to remove the vessel. The Philippines finds itself in a state of unease regarding Renai Jiao. Under pressure, there may be new developments regarding the Renai Jiao issue from the Philippines.